Developing new medicines is far from easy. It is costly and time-consuming, and only a small number of clinical trials are successful. To discover a new drug that can be made into a medicine, scientists first need to understand the biology of the disease they want to treat. Several years are spent identifying proteins and genes within the disease process, which can then be targeted to prevent or treat the disease. Drug candidates that interact with these targets are identified and screened in the lab to test their safety and effectiveness. This is known as efficacy. Eventually, one drug may be chosen as the best and selected to enter clinical testing in humans. Very few drug candidates get to this stage and there is no guarantee they will make it to market. However, studying a person's genes, known as genomics, can help identify subgroups within a disease population that are most likely to respond to treatment. Let's look at breast cancer as an example. Human epidermal growth factor receptor 2, or HER2, is a protein found on the surface of many cells and is involved in healthy cell growth. However, when a mutation triggers too much HER2 to be made in a breast cell, a fast-growing tumour can form. Around one in five breast tumours form this way. With this knowledge, scientists discovered a drug that binds and blocks HER2. This stops the tumour growing. This has led to targeted treatments for breast cancer patients with other gene mutations. Using this approach of studying the genes responsible for a disease has led to the development of medicines to treat other cancers too, and has revolutionised the drug discovery process for cancer.